I have booked an Airbnb before. I could show you how I did it. I have used Fuliza Empesa services, the new services that have come from Safaricom. I have been able to book my SGR trip. I have been able to do so much. I've been able to sell stuff from OLX. You know, so if you guys are the things you want to know, do hit me up on the comment section and maybe I can start a how-to Kenyan version series on my channel whereby I bring you in and show you the apps and the resources that I use that help me save time, save money and most of all manage my resources. Hi guys! Welcome or welcome back to Olive and Kirito Rebranded and in my last video guys, I taught you I brought you the insights on how to invest like a millionaire. And in that video, if you guys remember the five tips on how to invest like a millionaire, tip number one was don't just save, save to invest. Do you struggle saving money? Are you unsure of where to save your money securely? If you're asking yourself these questions, then this video is for you so in today's video i'm going to bring you guys in behind the scenes of how i save my money not just to sit there but save for my future investment first of all m shrine is a kenyan based service under the array of services provided by safaricom the largest telecommunication company in kenya and I bet by now you know I'm sure if you reside in Kenya, but if you don't, there are two ways I'm sure it would help you. One being you would request a loan, and two, you'd be able to save your money. But in today's video, we're talking about how to save. So basically, we are going to deal on option two. I'm sure it has two accounts when you're trying to save your money. There is the one, the normal I'm sure saving account, and there is the locked savings I'm sure account. I'm going to show you guys how to save first of all with the normal mshari account this is the account whereby you can easily deposit any amount in your mshari and you can also as well easily withdraw your money in that mshari account so first step is download the safaricom app or basically just use the folder that is good and is suitable for your phone i.e the sim toolkit or i don't know settings and then you go to my phone whatever place you're able to access the safaricom and mpesa services go there so first i'm going to go to the mpesa app um safaricom app and then i go to mpesa and you will see loans and savings so i'm on my phone so you go to loans and savings click mshwari and as you can tell from my screen what is already in my locked savings account and you go to send to mshwari because now we're doing the normal mshwari account so go to send to mshwari so for example i enter the amount um let's say 1000 um transfer amount a thousand yes press send let's wait to mpesa pin um boom success request accept for processing so what will happen right now is the money that was in my mpesa will be shifted to my mshari account as you guys can see from the screen mpesa has just notified me that 1000 has been transferred to my mshari account and my new mshari saving account balance is 1020 also mshari has has its interest rate that may not be that high um around three four five six percent so do check out um, what interest rates you're going to be getting yourself so that's the first one that's the normal mshari account and i'm also going to show you how to withdraw so again you go to the same app and then mshari and then withdraw from mshari and then i can just say again 1000 continue yes send and as you guys have can like see on my on my phone it's you really don't pay to you know send back money in your account and withdraw back money to mpesa it's actually free and i use this for quite some time and i was able to save so much but 
the only issue I had is I would save and then I'd feel like oh I have some money if I'm stuck and then I pluck it out again and that's why I actually stopped saving on the normal entry account but it's a really good start if you're very disciplined and you're not going to pluck some money then do save on the normal entry account but if you're a bit indisciplined <laughs> and a bit you know in the back of your head you have money there and then you find yourself plucking then maybe now opt for the locked savings account now I'm going to show you how to save up to a million Kenya shillings with the locked mshari savings account so as you guys can hear the name locked savings account basically means it's locked but this is a twist you can actually withdraw your money when you put it on the locked savings account within 48 hours when you open the locked savings account you first have to put the amount of money you intend to save i.e. 5,000 Kenya shillings and then you're going to input the period you intend to save that money in 2, 3 or 4 that is in months so if you save 5,000 and then your period is 3 months then after that you just put your pin and then you have to first put an initial deposit so I like the lock savings account because one I will feel the guilt withdrawing every single time and considering the money takes 48 hours as compared to the normal account that is instant and then another thing I love with the lock savings account I have put a target of how much I should save and if I hit the target Safaricom gives you the full interest rate for the target you give so it's a really good plus plus for you you get more money but as well you're saving for your future investments but first if you haven't opened the account first go to mshari go to lock savings account then click open account and then put the amount you intend to save maybe just start with a thousand or two thousand then put the period maybe in a month and then put your starting amount maybe if it's 50 bob but always remember to throw in money there throw in money there until you hit your target so bonus tips about lock savings account you can withdraw your money within 48 hours to the minimum set period you can put is a month and the maximum at the moment i think is still six months the amount of money you can put in i don't think it has a lot like it has a limit i put quite a lot of money and it still gets in a lot of money so it's fine as well so i think those are the three things you need to just consider um as you guys can see i go to money matters um my safari com <laughs> and then on my safari com mpesa again loans and savings and then click and try again and as you can see there is lock savings account if you can tell um my loan means this is the side that i'm saying um, i'm sure it has two sides that's the loan side and the saving side and my loan limit currently is nine thousand and then in my locked account as you guys can see i have thirty five thousand four hundred and ninety seven and up on the top is my I'm sure you normal savings which is pretty much 20 bob that i think you guys have seen as well so now we go to lock savings account and then you can either open save or withdraw but we're going to go with save because i already have um yeah i already have an account so you choose where you want the money to come from either from your mpesa or from your entry so i'm gonna click mpesa and i'm going to put 1000 in my locked account um you see 1000 from mpesa account to lock box account so you press send please watch it you have already deposited in your locked account and i'm just going to wait for the message to come um it hasn't come yet but as you guys have seen already on my phone you it's actually pretty easy just go to mpesa click lock savings account and then after just click you know open account if you don't have an account or just click save and save the amount you want either from your mtroy account or from your mpesa account and that's pretty much it and now your money is in the locked account now guys about the 52 week challenge and this is why most of you even clicked on this video this is why most of you want to know how can we save a million kina shillings with mtroy so let's let me bring you in guys now on my laptop and i want to show you guys what i mean by 52 week challenge on my laptop i'm in my 52 week challenge worksheet and i have even brought and showed you guys that um you can start by saving 50 bob kenya shillings so there is week one all the way down to week um 52 basically week 52 means one um january 2019 to january 2020 the space between them is um um, 52 weeks if you start in february 2019 to february 2020 that's 52 weeks that's basically what we mean so if you deposit 50 bob let's say in your locked account the balance will be 50 bob right then in week two for example the second week of january if you started in january 
instead of depositing again 50 bob you just deposit a hundred bob and then the next week you deposit 150 and then 200 and then 250 so as you guys um, can see on my laptop at the moment I am trying to show you how you can increase your savings very fast and very easy so other than forcing yourself to start with a thousand maybe start small and sooner by later you grow your savings and as you can see deposit 50 and then 50 100 150 150 300 so you basically keep adding 50 bob every week so the fourth week of january maybe um you have saved uh, you deposit 200 you have saved a total of 500 so now you go to let's say for example february you deposit 250 you get 750 balance deposit 300 1050 balance deposit 350 like that 400 and then by february you have 1800 in your M sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So you continue doing that all the way down, and as you can see, it gets a bit expensive. It's around week 20 now, every week you're saving a thousand. So you save a thousand, then you save 1050, then you save 1100. You keep adding the 50, it grows and grows and grows. And that's how you see how compounded effect over time has a lot of power because by week 40, you'll be saving 2000 a week. So you guys, you grow and grow, and by the time you reach at week 47, where you're saving 23.50 and all that, by week 52, you have saved 2,600 on that week, and your total is going to be 68,900 Kenya shillings. And then you go to sheet two; it's the same on sheet two. I'm showing how I'm showing you how you can invest a um, hundred bob, and it's the same. You start with a hundred and then you increase 100 it becomes 200 the week two week three so the higher income you have the more you can save if you have a lot of money in your disposal then don't even start with 50 start with 100 but just know as as you get to week 20 for example here you'll be saving 2000 a week and when you get week 30 you're going to be saving around 3000 a week and when you get to week 40 you're going to be saving pretty much 4,000 bob a week but as you can see the total is 137,800 Kenya shillings and it can continue we can for example do the same for if you had 500 bob if you had um, no actually let's do 200 if you have 200 start the same deposit 200 and I believe you guys get the drift and you increase your savings by next year January you have 275 600 and if you have 500 bob it becomes 689,000 kenya shillings and to top it all off if you can save a thousand every week additionally every week whereby first week a thousand the second week two thousand the third week that three thousand the fourth week you save four thousand that means a total of how much that's how much ten thousand in your first month if you have such a high income and you're looking for something to give you motivation to save more than you've ever saved in your life then this is very good whereby at the end you're going to have one million three hundred and seventy eight thousand kenya shillings so it's possible as you guys have seen on my laptop you can start with 50 and even let me not even say 50 you can start with 20 bob you can start with 10 bob you know start with whatever you have and then grow it slowly grow it slowly but you'd rather save something than fear to invest because you feel like you don't have enough the time that you take you to take that step it's very helpful even mentally because when you hit the period you put and you hit that mark you're very proud of yourself so that's it guys i have brought you in on my my 52 week challenge and the way i've arranged them is pretty much how i intend to increase in my life from sheet one to sheet two to sheet three to sheet four to sheet five so yeah guys i hope you guys have seen how you can save sixty-eight thousand nine hundred kenya shillings with just 50 bob or six hundred and eighty-nine thousand nine hundred with 500 and even reach to the millionaire rank of saving one million three hundred seventy-eight thousand by just saving a thousand every week and adding it every single week on your previous existing save anyway guys that is how I personally save my money and I wanted to let you guys in on how you can save your money using MSHRI and how it is very 
fast, very easy, very secure, and very efficient. But you guys, I hope you remember that we are saving to invest. So even as the money grows significantly, be in the situation where you can withdraw that amount of money and invest in your investments, in your future, in whatever you want to invest in. Also note that if you're trying to invest, i.e. in a business, that is the period of time researching about your business, preparing to launch it, all the necessary requirements, if it's putting up your brand on social media, that's the time you should take to do all the research possible, exhaust all the information that is there on the internet or in the YouTube community, and then as time goes by, save until the amount that you feel comfortable for your business. It is possible, you guys. Stop having the mentality of how can I start a business with no money at all. If you don't have a way to start your business with no money, this is a way you can start. I hope you guys have learned something from this video. I hope you've taken one or two things and if you're already an Emshari fan, like I am, really really good keep it up and maybe join in the 52 week challenge with me whereby i'm saving every single day and then we can share our stories on my group entrepreneur kings and queens on facebook how your 52 week challenge is so you guys i challenge you to join my 52 week challenge you can start with 20 you can start with 30 you can start with 50 and also guys if you've enjoyed this how-to video I'm also thinking maybe to start a how-to Kenyan version. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed shooting it in all ways possible and doing research and showing you guys how it's all done. So do give a like if you enjoyed this video. More so, I love you guys so much and don't forget to start where you are, use what you have and do what you can. Bye guys!